Hey, it's Mike from Party of Four Crafts back again. After my last video about upgrading to Inkscape 1.02 and the new Path Effects tools, I got a lot of questions about what these Path Effects are. I guess not a lot of people know they're even there, so I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites in the next few videos. The first one today I'm going to show you is Mirror Symmetry. So this one, let's say I wanted to make some cross earrings. In order to do that, you have to have perfect symmetry from one side to another. And if it's all straight lines, you could drag some guidelines over here and make sure that everything is lined up from one side to another. But if you're curving these lines, then it's difficult to curve both sides exactly the same. Well, this path effect will allow you to do that. Let me get rid of those guidelines. And so all you do is go path, path effects, and this menu will pop up. And it looks like it didn't do anything, but if I click on a path, you see now the plus button is active. And when I click that, all of the path effects come up. The last one that I chose is highlighted in blue, uh, mirror symmetry, this one is called. And that's what we're going to use today. So if I click on that one, you can see it just made the other half of the cross for me. So some things that I usually do, I leave it on freely defined mirror line and I click fuse paths. And now I can click on the node editing arrow and I can make adjustments to this. Like now I realize that the bottom node and the top node weren't aligned. Now watch as I move this node, it moves both sides. So watch as I, I move this node, it will move both sides. So any edits that I make to the left side also get made to the right side. So if I now take this one and make it rounded, I can now curve this and it curves both sides evenly. So now those are perfectly matched. And so let's say I take these two and I also curve those. And in this case, I would use some guidelines to make sure that these are even. Some of them, it's a little easier to see like that one. And then I can do the same, say with this one. And now I have a design that's curved exactly the same on both sides of that guideline. But you can see when I click on it, it's still in the mirror symmetry part. So all I have to do now is go path, object to path. And it's now a normal path that you can modify however you want without it modifying the other side. So that's it for this one. This is the mirror symmetry path effect. And you won't use it every day, but it's very useful for things like this that are perfectly symmetrical and not simple shapes. All right, thanks for joining me today. Let me know in the comments if there are any other topics that you'd like to see. And if you wanna see when a new video comes out, just click the subscribe button.